Well, today we are here at Antiques Marketplace of Lemoyne, but we are here today to do a little bit of shopping to hopefully find some items that we can buy and flip for a profit. So here we go. So this booth right here was 25% off and I love that they put it on the ground because I am the type of person that's always looking down and I always miss the discounts. <laughs> but in this case, I'm searching the booth for art glass because I found a lot of really nice art glass in this booth in the past and so I decided there must be more. I loved the bird figurines. There was a weeping gold vase there in the back. We had a Westmoreland piece. This art glass bowl I have looked at in the past and for some reason I decided to pass on it. I believe it's because it's $26 and I didn't see a whole lot of resale value in that piece because it just wasn't fun enough. There isn't a whole lot that's catching my eye in this booth, and I'm sorry if I'm making you dizzy. I feel like I'm, I'm really swinging the camera there. <gasps> There was a figurine in the back, and this was marked Made in Japan. I liked it. I thought it was adorable with the little dog, but it was $14, and even with the percent off, I didn't feel like there was enough room there for me to make a profit, and so I did pass on that little guy or girl. I couldn't really tell in the coat. This art glass dish I've looked at before, and unfortunately there is a chip on it. The chip is inside the glass, you can see it there, but um, I just can't do much with that. Now in this booth, I was admiring this beautiful lamp with the birds on it. There was also this card holder for Phillipsburg, Pennsylvania. It was a souvenir. It was probably early 1900s. It was pretty neat. You can see I have everything in my cart from yesterday's video. If you haven't seen that, there is a link to it down in the description. There's a lot of really fun pieces in this booth. This little chicken and chick caught my eye. They were $16.95, and unfortunately, I did not see any resale value there for me. I also like the little tiger. Now, they did have some art glass in this booth, and I always check out the art glass. This Tutti Frutti bowl was $60, and unfortunately, there was no room for me. But I did find this. But first, I found this. And I wasn't sure what this went to, so I just set it back there. But this right here is a Barbini bowl, and they do have it marked as Barbini. It is a circus tent bowl. And I owe that information to my good friend, Mary, um, Murano Mary, as a lot of you have come to call her. Uh, she gives me a lot of my Murano knowledge and she's actually linked down in my descriptions under shop with our, my friends, um, as well as Dagny and Casey, but Mary's in there as well. And she sells a lot of Murano. I loved this bird figurine. I thought it was great, but I couldn't really touch it for resale. Now this vase, I did check out the bottom of this, and the bottom was cloudy, so I did not feel like this was a Murano piece. We are in Kenny's booth now. I transported you into Kenny's booth, and you didn't even realize it. This jug right here, a lot of you were interested in this jug from my last video. It is marked $180. However, he does have a 20% discount. This is not something that I would buy for resale, but... If you're interested, it's at Antiques Marketplace of Lemoyne. No, they don't ship. This plate is redware, and it's a nice redware plate. I didn't recognize the marking on the bottom. He had $35 on it, and even with the discount, I just was not sure about it because I did not recognize that name on the back, and the name can go a long way. So I did pass on that plate. I had to recheck the price. Like, how much How much was it? <laughs> I loved this clock, and actually, as I was checking out, someone was leaving with this clock. 
Now I did find this cranberry pitcher and it had this beautiful applied rope handle. I believe this is sandwich glass of Boston, Massachusetts, and it is absolutely stunning. Unfortunately, there is a little bit of a crack there in the rope where it surrounds the pitcher, but other than that, there were no chips and cracks. And I loved the enameling on it for only $32. And I do believe there was a discount. I decided to grab it. I was also very tempted by this picture, but I decided that I only really needed one. I did not need both. I also found this. This was $35. And I loved the unrealistically sized birds on the front of it. I thought that they were a nice touch, and so I did decide to grab this. I mean, you don't normally see bluebirds that big unless they are on a Limoges platter. And so there you have it. There is a Limoges platter with unrealistically sized birds for $35. Now I did find a little cloisonne trinket box for $7.99. There was a discount on that too. I don't know why I'm not showing discounts, but... I'm not for some reason. I fell in love with this. I thought it was absolutely beautiful. It is made in Mexico more than likely. And I did check it over to see if there were any signatures on it because I thought for sure there must be a signature. It was $64.95 and I considered buying it for myself just because it was so colorful and that's kind of my decor style is colorful. But I ultimately passed on it. Now here in this booth, I feel like I've looked at this before and this poor horse is missing an ear. There was a Hager Black Panther in this booth and it was priced at $40, but you can see there is damage there to the paw. There was a happy chicken there. This is the booth with all of the vintage clothing. It's really neat. I have showed it in a previous video. Now I did find a Valentine. Unfortunately, there was damage to it. You can see there the little head of that figure has been removed. I found this yo-yo dog piece and... I found it interesting, but I didn't know what the resale value on this would be because I have not bought and sold anything like this in the past. When I'm out shopping, I don't normally look up comps unless it's something I'm just really unsure about and I like. So I did pass on that. We have a Reagan bunny rabbit here. I looked at this because I have seen the bears, but I have never seen a bunny rabbit before. And so this interested me. Um, Robert Rakes, sorry, not Rakin, a Robert Rakes bunny rabbit. Um, I've never seen the rabbits before, but they had it marked for $25 and I feel like they probably did their research and knew what it was. I was testing the weight of that rabbit and it proved to be very heavy. Now, I did notice this owl, and I feel as though I've looked at this before. It was kind of a deja vu moment. You've got this one owl that is very just calculating, and then you have the shocked owl. It's like two completely different expressions. This owl was $50. There were no discounts on this owl. However, I was drawn to it because I felt like it was a very high-quality owl, which is crazy. And it was not marked in any way, but come to find out this is made in Italy for a house of Gobel. And there was one comp that sold for 200 and one comp that sold for 25. So it's just all across the board. But I did end up buying this for $50 just because it felt like a really good quality piece. And there you have it. Look at that expression. How could you say no to that? Very cute, alert owl. That's how it's listed online. Alert. 
alert owl. That's the expression of being alert. I felt like I needed to prove to all of you why I was doing the voiceover. And that's because it's very loud. <laughs> I did not ask to have the music turned off. They're usually very good about that. But it was very busy today. And I just didn't want to be like, hey, turn off the music because I need it. I didn't want to be like that. So uh, I did not ask them to turn off or down the music today. I noticed this vase here. It was $18. It was a painted bottle. And I loved the contrast of the green with the orange. I had sold one not too long ago, and I couldn't remember how well it did. And so even though I really liked this, I did decide that I would pass on it. Because there were no discounts. It was just $18. I noticed this purse and I did decide to take a closer look at it. They had it marked for $40. This poodle was also very cute. But the purse was $40. And I didn't know what it was. The shark reminded me of Finding Nemo. The donkey back there is an early Foldscraft piece. I loved how they had it labeled. I thought that was kind of funny. Now I did notice the rose medallion pieces here. There were two of them. This one was marked with Chinese characters on the bottom. It was very thick porcelain though. I find that the older pieces are thinner. And so I could tell by touching it and by picking it up that it was a more modern piece. This piece right here was marked ACF, and the ACF marks usually date to the 60s or the 70s. You can see it there, the ACF mark. And so I did pass on both of those. I loved that live edge work there with the resin. I thought that was beautiful. And I noticed this sitting up on the top shelf. Well, first of all, this octopus dish. Let's not ignore that. This is one of those Polish octopuses. Octopi. Octopuses? I'm not really sure. Anyway, um, this jar was fabulous. For some reason, that's all I filmed. But I did end up getting it and buying it. I don't, I don't know how I skipped ahead. I definitely bought it. Anyway, this piece right here is crystal clear. It's fake Murano. Then you've got your Blanco there. I loved this turtle and I was very tempted to buy the turtle, but I did pass on the turtle. I loved this jar. I loved the bird and the flowers on it. I thought it was just absolutely stunning. You can see there is some damage there on the top, which is unfortunate, but this is just an absolutely stunning piece. I believe it's either a tobacco jar or a tea jar. We've got some art glass here. I loved the colors of this. It was kind of this interesting mustard color. Not something I'm familiar with. You can see the bottom there is not polished clear. So I'm not sure that this is Murano. I tried to research it and could not come up with anything similar. So if I was to list it, I would probably just call it art glass unless I could confirm that it was Murano. I did like the, the bird. It's got a bird on it. Come on. I did check out some more of these wood pieces because I just thought they were fabulous. I especially liked this. I thought that was interesting. And this ball. I have no idea what this is. 
I know what this is. This is art glass. And this is signed on the bottom, Joe Deanda. And this is somewhat of a well-known artist. And their work sells pretty well. But I loved the swirls on this. There was no chips and cracks. And I liked it a lot for $20. Now, I did pick up this ball to kind of get a better idea of what it was. And it did have characters on it. And I'm not sure if anyone in the comments knows what that says. But it was very interesting. It was a very heavy ball. Orb or whatever you want to call it. There was an art pottery piece in the back that would just look absolutely stunning with a tea light in it. It was $8, but there were no markings on it, so it wasn't something I was familiar with. I've got a bird up there. I did like this red heart art glass it kind of reminded me of bad ash glass but I wasn't sure so this is Blanco and I have actually picked up this bowl at another antique mall I called it warty glass I think it's called studded glass to be more specific uh, but I did pick this up it was priced I believe at $22 and there was a percentage off on top of that which brought it down to 14 bucks and it was Blanco it was nice. Oh, look at that. 35% off of 22. You, you do the math. But anyway, I did grab it. I thought this was interesting. It's an interesting way to display seed sacks. I did like this bird stylistically. It was $12. It was 35% off. I probably could have grabbed it in hindsight, but I didn't. All right, well, our total spend there was $334. Um, I got three boxes full of treasures, and one of the vendors was very kind enough to help me carry it to my car, so thank you, John. For those of you who have been asking what our stuff sells for, I do encourage everyone to go to our eBay, which is linked down in the description, and you can actually sort by solds, and you can follow along on our auctions to see what everything sells for. <sighs> now I am going to get out of here. Today was kind of a rough day. I, it was like, it's the weekend. I usually don't go sourcing on the weekends. But today is a Sunday, and I decided I'll go sourcing today. And it was so crowded, and you guys know I have, like, anxiety with crowds. It was probably not my best decision ever because I was, like, in booths, and people were coming in and, like, crowding me in the booth. I just, I was having a hard time. So I apologize if the footage is shaky or just not up to par. But that's kind of what was going on today. So anyway, I am going to end the video. I hope you all have a wonderful day, and I will see you tomorrow.